Today in this video, I'm going to show you three different things. I'm going to show you how much it costs to buy and lease a regional aircraft, how much freighter cargo planes cost, and how the prices have changed since my last video three months ago. Let's jump in. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, you can watch it here. In it, I explain the prices of main commercial aircraft and how much they cost to lease, including the Airbus A380, which is cheaper than you think. Starting off our list is the Bombardier CRJ700 at $5 million to buy. That's right, a 78-seater aircraft can be yours for only $5 million, less than a mansion in most cities. Better condition ones go for around $19 million, and it can be leased for around $70,000 to $170,000. These prices fluctuate depending on not only the state of the plane, but also the included engines. A newer updated engine model burns less fuel and is therefore more valuable, sometimes adding well over a few million to the price. The Big Brother CRJ900 can be bought for $1 million more for $6 million, or up to $23.5 million, renting for around $80,000 a month. It's some nice symmetry that 10 more passengers per plane is worth $1 million more than the CRJ700. Switching our focus to Brazil, we have Embraer E-Jet family, with the E-175 can be yours for only $9 million or a cool 100k per month to rent. Its bigger version, the E190, is only 900k more expensive and only 10,000 more per month to rent. Considering that the E990 carries 20 more passengers for only 10,000 more per month, you would make up that difference in a day and has my gold stamp of approval. When it comes to turboprop aircraft, the ATR-72 can be snapped up for as little as $3.4 million, or rented for $60,000 a month. The more expensive Q400 is only $5 million, and $68,000 a month to lease. These are the lowest prices, and you could end up paying $20 million for each, depending on the quality of the aircraft. Now it's time to move on to cargo aircraft. Cargo aircraft are rather particular. At the start of the year, cargo rates were relatively flat and carriers were content with buying used aircraft and converting them to cargo operations, making pricing the value difficult as nearly any plane could become a cargo aircraft. Things changed this year with half the world's air freight traveling in the belly of passenger carriers. There has been a dramatic reduction in capacity and cargo operators have found themselves suddenly flush with cash. Hence why there isn't much of a secondhand market for cargo carriers as they aren't giving up their planes anytime soon. You will notice that these aircraft lease rates are slightly higher than the lease rates for the same plane configured for passenger cargo. There are only five new cargo planes on the market at this time. Starting with Airbus, we have the A330 Freighter. This can be yours for 49 million to 77 million or 350k a month rent. In comparison, the passenger version of the Airbus A330-200 is only 12.7 to 70 million dollars or 125,000 dollars to rent. Basically, half the price. The next four aircraft on this list are Boeing freighters. First, we have the Boeing 747-400 freighter, which can be yours for 12 to 30 million dollars, or 180,000 a month. Then we have the latest version of the Boeing 747, the 8F, which can be bought for 92 million secondhand, or 419 million brand new. The issue with list prices is that airlines generally pay around about 50% of what's posted on the Airbus or Boeing website, which in this case is around 173 million for a brand new 747-8F, or at least for 750 to 1.4 million a month. Why is this the case? Well, you'll just have to subscribe to see my upcoming video on how to buy an aircraft. 
The last two Boeing freighters are the Boeing 767F for 18 to 74 million, which can be leased for around 230 to 550,000. And the Boeing 777F, for 82.5 to 152 million or 700 to 1.15 million to lease. You would think that you would just buy the 747 as the two prices of these aircraft are so close, but the 777F is actually more valuable as it has fewer engines and burns less fuel during operations. So how have their prices changed since we last did a video on this topic? First of all, the Airbus A220 has declined in value since the start of 2020. This is due to the small number of aircraft available on the market and a small number of orders that are coming through for the time. The Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 Next Generation, not the MAX, have kept their value through the crisis thanks to the MAX grounding and limited production of the A320. Simply put, there are no more options to buy more and thus airlines have been holding onto aircraft they already have. The value of mid-weight A330s and 777-200s dropped massively. I mentioned the A330 earlier in this video and the 777 is valued at only around 10.4 to 34.5 million dollars to buy or 100 to 300,000 to rent. These aircraft are for medium haul sectors with lots of demand that just doesn't exist right now, so airlines have no use for the planes. This is the opposite for the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350s that have maintained their price as they are needed for low fuel burn long haul operations, replacing many routes that are normally operated by Airbus A380s. The Boeing 767 has also seen a big boon. Passenger versions have been snapped up for cargo conversions and the price has rapidly increased. Lastly, regional jets have held up well thanks to reduced demand with airlines deciding to deploy smaller jets than use bigger aircraft. Although sub 100 seater aircraft have fallen in recent weeks. If you have made it this far to the video, then I want to say thanks. This is a very dry topic, but it is also my most requested video. So I want the community to know that I read every comment and I'm here to make the videos that you want the most. Special thanks to Lax from airliners.net for putting together this prices list and see below where you'll find the complete list and a link to the original source. Thanks for watching.